Hello friends, I'm Akash and a hearty welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to learn the two digit Vedic math line addition trick to add any amount of two digit numbers in a series. Let's start by taking a relatively small example. Let's say 46 plus 28. That's very simple and we're gonna scale it up later. But now, we're going to learn the basics of this trick. So, what we do is we start in the rightmost column, always. We start the rightmost column and then go to the left. So, starting with the rightmost column, we go bottom to top. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add, we're gonna add each number from starting from bottom to the top and we're just gonna add it with the number above. And then we'll take that number and then add it to the next one above and so on and so on and so on. So what we would do then is every time our total is over 10, greater than or equal to 10, then what we do is we call drop a 10 which would just mean drawing a line and then subtracting 10 from our total. Then we use the remainder and then add that to the next number in the list and then the next one and the next one in the series all the way until we're done. And at the end, we're gonna have one digit at the end and that is going to be the last digit of our answer. So starting at the rightmost column, from going from bottom to top, we'll start with eight. So we start with eight plus the next number in the list, six. Eight plus six is 14. Is 14 greater than 10? Well, yes. So what we do now is we drop a 10. So we just draw a line at the top and then subtract 10 from 14. So that just becomes four. Then, now as there are no more numbers remaining to add on, we just have four, so four is the last digit. Now, this is the basis of the single digit line addition trick, which I have actually explained in a separate video over here, but this one is special because it is two digits. So how do we do two digit? Well, what we do now is we just count the amount of lines that we've drawn. In this case, we have just drawn one line. So now that we have one, we're just going to write that at the top of the next column. So we just write one there. And then we just do the same exact procedure again with that column, the left column. So now let's do the same thing there, starting from the bottom, adding numbers up repeatedly. So we start at the bottom, two, and then add that with the next number, four, and that becomes six. Then we go again, six plus the one at the top that we added there becomes seven. And then since there are no more numbers to add, we have seven, which is the first digit of our answer. And there you have it, 46 plus 28, is 74. Let's take another example. Say 32 plus 28 plus 27. All right, so let's begin. Starting with the rightmost column, bottom to top, so we start with seven. Now, seven plus, next number in the list, eight is 15. So is 15 greater than 10? Yes. So we drop the 10 and we're left with five. So then we continue on. Five plus two is seven. And since there are no more numbers left to add, we just have seven. So that's just ran down at the bottom right there. Seven is our last digit. Now we count the amount of lines that we've drawn. Here we've drawn one line. So all we do is just write the number one on the top of the next column. And now we'll do the same procedure on that column, the left column. So starting from the bottom and going to the top, starting there, two. So now we go two plus two becomes 
4, then going over that, then 4 plus 3 becomes 7. Then what we do is add our 7 to the next number, which is that 1 we placed earlier. So 7 plus 1, that's 8. And so we have 8, which means that 8 is the first digit of our answer. So that means that 32 plus 28 plus 27 is actually 87. It's that quick and that simple. Let's take another example. Say 27 plus 74 plus 16 plus 53. Now, what we do here is just the same thing. We'll start rightmost column, bottom to top, and we start with three. So three plus the next number is six, that becomes nine, and then nine plus four becomes 13. 13 is greater than 10, so we just drop a 10 there, draw the line, subtract 10, and now we're left with three. So then we add three to the next number, seven. Three plus seven becomes 10. Again, we just drop a 10. So now we're left with just zero. So zero is actually the last digit of our answer. So we just draw that out, zero, and then what we do is check how many lines have we drawn. Well, we've drawn two, one, two there. So all we do is just draw and write down a little number two at the next column, and then we start again on that column. So starting from the bottom again, on the left column we go five plus one becomes six. Over here you can see that. Then six plus seven is 13, and is 13 greater than 10? Drop a 10. So as you can see right here, we just draw a line, subtract 10, and now we're left with just three. Now, three plus the next number is two, so three plus two, that becomes five, plus the final number, which we have there, is just the two from earlier. So five plus two becomes seven, and so seven is the middle number. Notice how I said middle there. That's because even though we have just completed that last column over there, we still have already drawn a line over there. We have already drawn one line on the left column. So what do we do? Well, all we have to do is just, there's one line there, so the final digit, the first digit is just one because that's how many lines there are over there. And that is the line addition trick. Right here, as you can see, 27 plus 74 plus 16 plus 53 is 170. All right, let's try one final really long one, just so that you get the idea of just how powerful this trick can actually go. So let's do this, 23 plus 42, plus 15, plus 27, plus 74, plus 81, plus 36. Yes, I know, that sounds incredibly daunting, but it actually isn't. See, when we use this trick, it's gonna be a lot, lot easier. And I'll show you how right now. All right, so again, starting the rightmost column, bottom to top. So that means we start at the um, bottom right corner with six. Now, six plus the next number is one, so six plus one is seven, then seven plus four is 11. And is 11 over 10? Yes, so draw a line there, drop the 10, we get one. Now continue on, one plus seven, eight. Eight plus five, that's 13. Is 13 greater than 10? Again, yes, so drop the 10 there, draw the line, and we have just three. Next, three plus two is equal to five, then five plus three is eight, and that means that eight is the last digit of our answer, so all we do there is just draw eight at the bottom. That is our last digit. One of those three digits in the answer is done. Now, we have to look how many uh, lines have we drawn on this column. Well, that's easy, there's just one, two. Simple as that. So, since there's two lines that we have drawn, we'll just write two in the next column. And then, 
On that column, the left column, we start again, bottom to top, adding the numbers. So, starting at the bottom, we have three. Now, three plus the next number is eight, so three plus eight, that's 11. Now, 11 is greater than 10, so drop the 10, draw the line, and we get one. Then, one plus seven. Now, one plus seven is gonna be eight. 8 plus 2, again, it's going to be 10. Now, 10 is just equal to 10, so drop the 10, and we just get 0. We can just start fresh again. So, the next number there is just 1. Now that we have 1, we'll just add it to the next number. 1 plus 4, well, that's 5. Then 5 plus 2, again, that's 7. Now, we add that to the last number in the list. It's that 2, so 7 plus 2 is 9. And so, we just draw out nine there at the bottom there. So we have, we have nine, which is the middle digit in our answer. Now, for the final digit, we'll just count how many lines we have drawn in this column, in the left column. That is also one, two. So two is the first digit of our answer, and that means that all in all, 23 plus 42 plus 15 plus 27 plus 74 plus 81 plus 36 is 298. Now that you know how to use the line addition trick to add a series of two digit numbers, it's homework time. Try to figure out what 41 plus 62 plus 88 is what 78 plus 64 plus 35 plus 27 plus 98 is, and what 57 plus 16 plus 25 plus 91 plus 37 plus 54 plus 63 is. Try to figure out what all of these are using this line addition trick. Put your answers in the comment section down below. And by the way, for convenience, if you want to check if you're right, then the answers are in the description below. I'm sure you're going to get all of them right. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you like my videos, then make sure to subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon so you don't miss my new videos every time I upload. Once again, thanks so much for watching. Love you, Akash.